Good day. My name is Derek Tam, founder of 4x4 Adventure WA. Welcome to my channel. Um, for some of you, you probably noticed I do a bit of uh, four-wheel drive off-road adventure, usually a weekend adventure. Uh, but also, my part of my interest is welding and metalwork and fabrication, basically things like that. Uh, I like I love welding because it's, uh, it allows you to uh, to change the metal physical properties, and you basically glue them together. And you can use welding skill to make whatever you like, especially that's related to automotive industry as well. You can well, welcome to my new shed. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Uh, I had a hiccup with building a shed last year, so uh, finally this is all done, and I'm very glad. Uh, I'm very glad this is done too. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing in my shed, apart from my more equipment and my camera gear, uh, my light as well, things like that. There's nothing, it's empty. I'll show you in this series uh, how I build my shed um, from scratch. So today, I will start from my, um, from my welding table, table used for welding. So. Uh, after you've got a welding table, you can basically start working on your stuff on this welding table and it's just much easier, a lot more convenient as well. I've got some, uh, well, grinders uh, disc, flapping disc, different grids as well. Uh, one is 40, just to remove materials. Uh, oh, did I get both 40s? Uh, four casters and they're heavy duty casters, metal so it won't flat. or. It's not really flat, but it won't change its shape over time when it's set for, for so long. Um, some angle lines, uh, they're three mil thick. Um, we've got some, what is this? Me, uh, 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 flat bar, flat bar, there's five mil, actually six mil, six mils uh, in thickness. That's very heavy duty. That's going to be a, a bench top. Now, these are basically very universal, uh, 50 by 50 um, square tube. And they are, they are thin square tube as well. They're like 1.5 or 1.6. Um, and all up is probably about uh, $600. So uh, you kind of get the idea, but if you commercially sort of buy, uh, buy a welding table uh, uh, online, even online, it probably costs more than $1,000. So I reckon it may be pretty worthwhile to make it yourself un uh, unless you don't know how to do welding. I also, I, um, I have taken an advice from one of the welding channels to put a light on top of the um, helmet. So basically you get some light when you, uh, whenever you look at anything, uh, when you, when, whichever weld you sort of start doing. Um, I think it, it's probably a really good idea uh, to have something like this on your welding helmet. Now I hope I can show you in a better way. Uh, maybe I'll show you the one in the computer. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. So this is this represents an RHS 50 by 50. They're basically all made of 50 by 50, apart from the bench top. Um, so please be patient. So this is basically about this long, 700, and this is probably 700 as well, 700, uh, 700, and this is around uh, 1400 um, inside. Uh, the um, uh, the whole bench is fifteen hundred uh, long. Probably write it down is better. So from here to there is fifteen hundred. Uh, so just for my information. So basically the flat bars uh, they need to be fifteen hundred. So this is the wrong calculation. So fifteen hundred uh, they basically go on top of uh, the frame the 50 by 50 frame uh, so in in which case uh, whatever you see in here this line represents uh, an L bracket so they're, they're basically all L brackets um, an L bracket is there to increase the structural uh, integrity or uh, it, it makes a flat bar a little bit more structural otherwise the whole flat bar actually flexes on there uh, mind you there is no support in here uh, in fact, I changed my design. Originally, I thought I'm going to put some um, universal column, the I beams. Uh, so they are pretty structural now because I can't get them. I have to change them to flat bars. So here we go, flat bars. But flat bars itself is not structural, and that's why I have to use some L brackets to increase the structural, um, the structural strength of the 
uh, of the flat bar on the bench top. So um, to do that, I'm going to minus uh, 100 from there, which is 1400 uh, of the L bracket. So this is basically all the things I need. And then I'm going to cut all these out. And at the end, I'll tap weld them uh, and, and do the finished welds. Right, oh, so after around maybe half an hour to 45 minutes of cutting, finally I present to you these uh, the uh, raw materials of my welding table. Anyway, prepare welding, and it obviously involves a lot of uh, what do you call them? Grinding. So grinding the corners, bevel them. Uh, so obviously, it uh, it allows more space to put. Your, your weld in, so it has a better welding quality, things like that. Um, so I'll do that now. All right, oh, um, so the weld, uh, not really the weld, uh, the, we the preparation of weld ha welding has been uh, done. And I'm losing a bit of light at the moment, uh, so um, I don't know. I might just I might use my light in the garage, uh, in, in my in my shed, and my um, my headlight as well to try to tack some weld tonight. And I'm not sure if I can actually do any finished weld today. But anyway, it has been prepped and uh, ready to go. Let's see what happens. Back again, day two, um, still trying to build this welding table. Uh, so last night I spent a little bit of time trying to do this. Uh, if you like, I'm not sure if you can see it, check this out. Uh, just check in and see, uh, let you see what, what I've done yesterday. These are the, weld bar, uh, the, uh, the flat bars that I've done yesterday. And uh, these are all still tech uh, welded. Um, so I'll have to do a finish weld in all of that. And some of them have been cleaned up. Uh, and some of them hasn't. Um, so I'll try to finish this today. And you might see this is, well, you might be wondering uh, the flat bars. Oh, I've got some angle lines under there. So it increases the structural side of things. Uh, so it makes it stronger. And these are all tech welded. Uh, and then I'll, I'll evenly distribute them. Now, one thing I've noticed uh, yesterday, when you weld it, you might have moved them sl slightly and when it sort of all adds up together I've got this uh, I'm not sure you can see it um, this is about 10 mil off the ground uh, and uh, hopefully I can fix it by putting some spaces uh, down there um, so hopefully it becomes a non staggering table so well let's see what happens today hey eh? Looks, the sun is starting to go down. Um, but anyway, it's not going to affect my process. Um, so I've, 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 uh, I've tech welded all these P 
pieces uh, and cleaned up all the uh, beads as well. So as you can see, they're not perfect. Some of them have um, actually quite a fair bit of porosity. Um, so my, my welding is not perfect. I'm just a beginner. So if any one of you can sort of spot my, uh, my problem and uh, related to skills, yeah, do let me know. I'm trying to improve my welding. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do some finished welding. Uh, hopefully, I'll get something done today. folks um, welcome to day three of my little home project um, well as you can see the welding table down there I'm not sure if you can see it the camera is following my face okay so the welding table down there is basically close to completion and I need to put some more uh, some casters on there so it is not as difficult to move around uh, well welding table needs to be easy to move around because uh, I su suppose it uh, depends on the workplace. At home, I prefer it to be able to move around. Uh, so I've laid down some finished welding yesterday. I'm not sure if it's how you call it. Um, most of them are pretty uh, amateur welds. Uh, so don't laugh about it. I'm still learning. But um, occasionally, I do get some really good welds. So uh, we'll, we'll check them out. I've actually ground some some welds out, uh, some really bad ones, and you sort of want to know what's under there. If I've got porosity, uh, sort of want to see how I went, um, and um, I think that's pretty much about it. And uh, maybe I'll just proceed to uh, to putting the casters on. Uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Now, basically, this morning before I start the camera, um, you see those really. Uh, I've, I've ground some welds and I believe these are really bad welds and you see that's actually not too bad if you can focus it please for me um, not sure if you can focus but yeah okay so these are actually not too bad uh, occasional porosity but uh, it could have been a lot better uh, obviously so something like these they are, these are just ridiculous if you can actually see it and I don't even want to bother opening up and have a look um, and uh, as, my, as, I, as I sort of kept going last night, my weld sort of got a little bit better. Uh, these are still yet to be cleaned up. Um, heaps of flux on it. Alright folks, I'll show you some, some welds that I think is much better uh, last night. So basically, um, as I kept going, I, I weld the top first and then I flip the bench uh, upside down and do the bottom. And um, I... Uh, I've done a couple of, oh, actually a few really good welds. Well, I think that is quite good. Now, this one there is not too bad. It's, it's a, a great improvement from what's on the top. Uh, as you can see, they are sort of spread out a little bit and uh, the weld actually formed a better, uh, what do you call that? Uh, an arc. The arc sort of spray out in a better spread out distribution. And uh, I consider this as a better weld. Uh, but as you can see, there are still some craters there, and it's not that uniform. For welding table, it's, it's pretty much okay. Now, this one is even better. Check this out. How's that? So, mind you, these, these few welds are basically the last bit of weld I th I've done last night. When you're using a make gun, you have to sort of um, 
go slow and move fast uh, gradually over over time because the, the fact that even though you've got a really um, perfect setting of the voltage and wire speed I found that you still have to manually adjust the heat by your by using your your welding torch so at the start you sort of um, uh, circulate a little bit so to make, make sure it is hot enough to, to form a really nice uh, nice liquidy weld so uh, and to the point that you actually can see through your welding helmet so sort of start slow and you gradually uh, do a circulate motion and move a little bit faster over time and I found that way it becomes a little bit more uniform instead of the chunky bit at the start and then um, it becomes really nice and it sort of burns a hole at, at, at the end of the weld. Um, so that's basically what I found uh, and I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to spend some time cleaning up all these welds and um, finally we'll put some caster on. Right, oh, so um, we have come to the last step of this project. Um, it's the casters. So basically, I'm going to eat, going to weld all these casters on the bottom of the legs. Um, to do that, I've cut out some flat bars. These are the six mil flat bars. The remaining of it, um, they are about the same size. Well, actually, a little bit. Uh, yeah, they are about the same size as the plate of the cast iron casters. Uh, so what I'll be doing, I'll just be um, putting these on un under the legs as a bit of a surface and then what I'll do is to weld this caster on top of it through the holes. So we'll see what happens. And also what you notice as well, there, are, there is a bit of error uh, either from measurement or uh, or from the welding process. So as you can see, the, the area is actually quite, quite big collectively. That's about 10 mil in there. So um, as you can see, I've got six, not but not four. I've got six of these. I've planned to use uh, an extra one of these on either side from there and there, and maybe grind off a mil thickness of it and see what happens. Alright guys, uh, here comes the final step. When is that final? It's the final, final step. Uh, you see the casters. That's how I'm going to mount them. I'm going to put welds, probably just a very simple spot welds, um, in the four holes. Um, and I've fixed the imbalance by putting double plate in either end, diagonal end of this leg. Uh, that, whereas this and that one, they're only just a single, uh, single piece of single layer of, uh, of plate. Uh, now anyway, so I'm going to weld these holes uh, and basically after that, the welding table is finished. And uh, well basically all what's after this is just more welding footage. So I'll probably just, uh, I will not film it and I'll just let you have a look at the end, uh, the, the complete product. Right, oh, um, welding table is completed. Well, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty all right, isn't it? I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the, the ground sections I've painted so it won't get rusted. Uh, there are still some sections I need to tidy, tidy up. Um, these, they are just flux, you know. 
um, and uh, I re I'm really quite tired at the moment. I've spent like the past two and a half days working on this project. Uh, it ain't pretty, but this will work. That's all I needed. Well, that concludes uh, this video, Welding Table Fabrication Welding 101. So I, I'm not a very experienced welder. Uh, I've done some small projects in the past for furniture, uh, but um, my, my skill is developing. So every time I, I do my welding, uh, my, my, welds, uh, my weld quality actually improves. And um, I'm actually thinking of getting some shooting gears as well to, to further improve my, uh, the quality of welds. Um, anyway, so what do you think about this welding table? Um, well, I've changed my design slightly because of uh, the things I can't get. Uh, but there you go. I mean, this is a pretty nice table. This is a pretty nice table. Tell me what you think, comment down below. And um, uh, yes, this is my, my new playlist uh, about fabrication and welding. I hope that helps you, spark you some idea, things like that. Uh, and I'll put more adventure video uh, in the future in another playlist. Uh, that hasn't stopped yet, it's just I want to start, really start doing uh, my, ho uh, start, start my hobby about uh, fabrication and in the future I might build something uh, that is car related. Um, so if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel 4x4 Adventure WA. You can also find us on social media using the same keyword. Um, and don't forget uh, to, to follow my new page, uh, Adventure Welder. Uh, I'll see you there. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.